T minus 45 seconds. LCDR, launch enable to flight. 100% lock flight. ATC 3, main power disable on. It's on. T minus 35 seconds. Hydraulics go. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. This is Delta Launch Control at T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and liftoff of the Delta II rocket carrying World U 2, the most agile commercial imaging satellite ever flown. And you'll be listening to Steve Agate providing launch vehicle ascent data from the telemetry lab here at Vandenberg for Air Force Base. Seconds into the flight. Downrange distance about six nautical miles. Now passing 33 seconds, vehicle now at Mach 1. On 40 seconds. Mark, 40 seconds into the flight, ground lit uh, solid uh, chamber pressure to beginning to decline. Passing 48 seconds, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure in the vehicle. 55 seconds in, less than 10 seconds remain now on our six ground lit motors. Standing by for burnout. We have burnout. Standing by for ignition of the airlet motors. And we have three airlet motors increasing in chamber pressure. We'll be holding on to those six groundlet motors for a few more seconds as we're expecting a good water impact point. Standing by for groundlet motor SEP. See separation of the groundlets. One minute, 41 seconds into the flight. Chamber pressure is now beginning to decline in the airlet motors. Delta vehicle weighs uh, less than one half of what it did at launch one minute, 52 seconds ago. About 10 seconds remaining now on the burn of our three airlet motors. Standing by for burnout and separation. We have separation of our three airlet motors. It's 20 seconds into the flight. Engine pitch in your steering looks good. Burning air engine control also looking good at this time. Chamber pressure level in the main engine is good. Chamber pressure on both vernier engines is good. Engine control. To now 34.2 nautical miles, downrange distance 42.5 nautical miles, a velocity 4,675 miles per hour. Coming up two minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. Looking good, uh, main engine pitch and yaw really settling out now, very smooth ride. Vernier engine control also good. Passing three minutes, altitude now 40.7 nautical miles, downrange distance 71.9 nautical miles, velocity 5,751 miles per hour. Coming up three minutes, 15 seconds. This time we're uh, just a little over a minute until uh, main engine cutoff. Still looking good. Main engine uh, pitch and yaw steering is very good. Vernier control also very good at this time. Pressure level very stable at this time in both the uh, Vernier engines and the main engine. Eight minutes, 35 seconds in. Altitude now passing 49.1 nautical miles. Downrange distance 126.7 nautical miles. Velocity 7,877 miles per hour. Coming up on three minutes, 50 seconds. Less than one minute remain in main engine uh, burn and first stage flight as we're coming up on four minutes. Mark, four minutes into the flight, altitude now passing 55.5 nautical miles, downrange distance 175 nautical miles, velocity 9,806 miles per hour. Four minutes, 10 seconds. 
We'll be expecting main engine cutoff in about 10 seconds from now. Standing by for Miko. And we have Miko. Standing by for Vico. We have Vico. The Verniers have cut off. Standing by for 1-2 SEP. And we have 1-2 SEP. Standing by for ignition on the second stage. And we have ignition. Ignition on the second stage. Second stage chamber pressure is increasing. And we have fairing latch separation. Fairing has separated. Five minutes into the flight, altitude 75 nautical miles, downrange distance 338 nautical miles, velocity 12,080 miles per hour. Five minutes, 15 seconds in. Second stage chamber pressure holding very, very good, right where we would want it to be. Looking at engine control on the second stage, that also looks very good, a good smooth ride at this time. Coming up on 5 minutes, 30 seconds. Mark, 5 minutes, 30 seconds, altitude 83.5 nautical miles, downrange distance 425 nautical miles, velocity 12,355 miles per hour. This uh, first burn of the second stage today should last about 6 minutes, 15 seconds. About uh, 2 minutes and 50 seconds into that burn, or just short of 3 minutes into the burn, we'll expect to lose data from St. Nicholas Island. And at that point, our instrumentation aircraft will be receiving data. They'll be able to uh, call out the uh, SECO time, and we'll expect to bring that to you live, but we will not have live data from the vehicle. That will occur in about a minute and a half from now. Coming up on uh, 6 minutes and 15 seconds. Mark, 6 minutes, 15 seconds, altitude now 93.8 nautical miles, downrange distance 560 nautical miles. Velocity 12,825 miles per hour. The pressure is still looking good in the second.